Welcome back, Fallowville. I'm Austin Garrison. And I'm Logan Borland. Here are announcements for January 12th, 2016. There will be an interact meeting after school Wednesday in Mrs. Struble's room. There will be snacks and we will be discussing our next activity, which is a bait sale for the Family Impact Center. The bait sale will be next Friday, January 15th, during the doubleheader girl and guys basketball game. Don't forget, if you bake a dozen homemade treats and donate them to the bait sale, you get one hour service credit. Thank you. If you lost a seven inch tablet at the school before break, please come see Mr. Lusk in the main office. Designs for the German trip t-shirts are due this Friday, January 15th. You don't need to be a German student to design a t-shirt. See Ms. Collins for more details. This week is the last week of credit recovery for first semester. Credit recovery is on Monday, Wednesday this week. Please see Mrs. Tomasi with any questions or concerns. It's not too late to sign up for follow Idol. Auditions are taking place this Wednesday. See Ms. Tomasi by Tuesday to sign up. Donate used or unwanted books. Donation, bo donation boxes will be in Mrs. Hardenbrook's room and in front of the main office from January 11th to, to the 22nd. Books of all genres and for all ages are welcome. All donated, all donated books will be handed out at the Community Connects annual free event down on their luck families. Community Connects event provides <laughs> free services, information, and goods for community members. For more info on Community Connect, con contact 211. Thank you and please donate. Attention freshmen, tomorrow and Wednesday are cocoa and cram from 2.30 to 5 after school in the B Hall. Come receive your exam study guides and help, help from tutors and teachers to help you study. Attention, any girl interested in playing softball in the spring. There will be a quick informational meeting in Coach Chaperone's room, B202, today at 2.25. If you cannot make the meeting, please see Coach Chaperone sometime during school tomorrow for an updated calendar. Varsity competitive cheer team traveled to Brighton High School this past Saturday where they continue to improve in huge strides early in their season. The highlight of the day came from 30 point increase in round two, scoring 175 in the round. Setting a new season record, the Gladiators fought hard in both round one and three as well, finishing with a season high overall score. Top athletes include Alex Provost, Blaney Bell, Savannah Sparks, Emma Hancock, and Rain Maddox. The varsity cheer team competes at home this Wednesday with a start time of 6 p.m. for their first lead meet of the season. Please come show your support. Over the weekend, the hockey team took on East Eastside All-Stars at home with a loss 5-3 and an empty netter. Scoring for the Glads was Nico Montrose with one goal, one assist, and Alex Montrose with two assists. The boys also traveled to take on Grand Rapids West Catholic on Saturday with a loss 3-1. to one. Nico Montres with the one goal for the team. Come out tonight and watch the boys take on the Lansing Patriots at 7-15. They'll start off by finishing the third period from their last game when there was a Zamboni malfunction and then play, playing their scheduled game right after. It's sure to be intense, so come out and watch some good hockey. Boys varsity basketball stats. The final score was Fallerville 69 and Ionia 67. After Fallerville jumped to 19 to 14 lead in the first quarter, Ionia answered with 20 to 12 edge in the second quarter. It was Ionia 34 to 31 at the half. Ionia built the lead to as much as nine in the second half before Fallerville was able to even up early in the fourth quarter. The Ionia then Ionia went to on a run up and built the lead back to nine with about four and a half minutes left in the game. Fallout senior Sam McDowell took control of the game scoring nine of his 14 points as well as big assist to fellow senior Clay Boat who hit a huge three to give the Gladiators a three point lead with about a minute to go. Boat hit a free throw with about six seconds left to make it a four point game and iced the game for the Gladiators. Dan Judd also had a big fourth quarter scoring seven of his team's high 16 points in the fourth quarter. On the night, Sam McDowell added eight rebounds and seven assists and Claybook added 15 points and 
five assists. 